back this morning's first job is rolling so the field you would have seen in my last video which I was um, cultivating my dad actually drilled whilst we were doing the sheep job sheep jobs so getting the tucks in and now this morning I am rolling it rolling is really important to improve that soil to seed contact which helps with germination um, back on the Valtra again and loving it the fact that it has the inbuilt GPS so we're not changing a GPS dome from tractor to tractor means that I'm rolling with GPS and it's a luxury to not have to be concentrating on steering um, in the bulk of the main field in the middle we did have a bit of a shower overnight but not enough to stop us rolling and fingers crossed we might be getting the combine out later all being well you might be able to notice that I'm going slightly across these lines here so these lines are created by the drill and by going slightly across when I'm rolling I'm slightly leveling out these kind of ridges across this way well this sunny weather blue skies behind me means all systems go here currently in a field of OSR which has been cut now I've said in my previous videos that we are probably going to chop all of our straw However, this straw will be used for our biomass boiler. Unfortunately, it did get wet, which means that it's too wet to bale. We have to have it at quite a dry content so it doesn't go rotten, so it doesn't go off when it's in the bale. So this machine behind me, as you can see, is turning the straw, which moves it onto a drier bit of soil and kind of exposes the underside of the straw as well. So fingers crossed. We might even get it bailed up this afternoon. You can see that there isn't loads of straw in the swath, um, but every time you turn it, so every time you move it, you do lose a little bit. And rape straw can be pretty brittle, so it does snap. I've come straight from turning the OSR straw to get back into our first field of wheat that we're cutting. Uh, my dad's cutting and I am about to switch over with my mum. She is on the tractor just leading um, the first load whilst I got back. Um, now, I have said before that we are not baling any straw, but we are baling the OSR obviously for the biomass boiler. This straw is in the swaths. We've decided that with the conditions hopefully looking all right, so many people are chopping so much straw, it actually might be in quite a lot of demand this year. We're looking at the moment for a bit of a, a set fair period, and hopefully we're just going to get a neighbor to come in and bale it pretty much straight behind the combine, and then it's done, off, and cleared um, in good time before it has a chance to get wet. We've also got a neighbor in the field baling, so square baler, much quicker job than our round baler and also means that my dad and I can concentrate on combining and leading this in and the field will be baled before our eyes basically. Over here main combine, my dad on the go and then we have this little plot combine here so you can see the size difference from that um, that is here to cut trial plots in there which have been done by um, a fertilizer company and so it's all about different application rates and i mean we don't know the ins and outs of every single one of those plots um, because it's run by the fertilizer company we almost just kind of give them the field to do the plots Here is the plot combine at work. So you can see it is just combining a very, very narrow little bit. And you can also see those thin strips left are almost kind of guard bits, which protect the trial areas. 
So that combine is combining literally just specific areas which have had specific um, maybe products or fertilizer applied to them. And then there's somebody driving the combine, but somebody also sitting in there to record which bits combined. And then they'll take samples, test yields, quality, etc. But a really interesting bit of kit, but also interesting to see the sort of results that they're finding out as well. And here we go, managing to just tip into my trailer. So you can see how tiny the plot combine actually is. Well, we cracked on pretty well with combining yesterday afternoon. Got a couple of fields finished and then started into the next one. So broke into the headlands. So that's the bit around the field, just to make it easier when we make a start today. This morning we are leading oilseed straw. So this is the straw, as I mentioned, that we use for our biomass boiler. We have a trailer, which I don't know if you could see up kind of there. It has hydraulic sides on it. So we basically move those up and down and it's easy to um, load straw. Now these are square bales of straw, which are even easier than round bales. We have a round baler, but our neighbor has been in to bale these. So it makes life a lot easier with square bales. Well, this is a bit of a different morning to usual. I am down in Newmore Market for the National Sheep Association AGM. We're at Godolphin, so if you haven't heard of it, it's a massive stud farm um, breeding unit for racehorses. Obviously, Newmarket is the place for that, but they also have a farm as well. So the AGM this morning, and then um, we're having a tour this afternoon. I think it's going to be so, so fascinating. One of the things um, I think we'll be focusing on this afternoon is how sheep are integrated into the grazing system alongside the horses. Obviously the horses have got to be kept in absolutely tip-top condition and the sheep are used as a kind of aid um, to this as well. So really, really interesting and so glad for various reasons that at home, things broken down, etc. Um, where we are at harvest, I can afford the time to come to this. So it's a real opportunity that you don't normally get. The order books over here are... Robert could, Robert could buy one, you can buy one. So the point being, there's no pneumatics, it's all electric, so you're not having to hunt a generator around or a compressor, and it's, it's clear and down. We are currently lucky enough to be given a tour around the stud at Godolphin, and it is unbelievable um, and the horses look absolutely immaculate the yards immaculate and the staff are obviously so fantastic at their job the way they keep the horses calm how they handle them is amazing
at Godolphin down in Newmarket. An absolutely fantastic day put on by the NSA, a few other organisations. We've seen a fantastic display from the next generation of shepherds as well. But as always, if you enjoyed the episode, please do like and subscribe to my channel.